that served for the United States Armed Forces, both for the Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard. And let's face it, you are real heroes. So let's give a great hand to our veteran, all our veterans. I'd like to uh, start, start out with our, our invocation by introducing Pastor Frank Custer from Calvary Chapel. Pastor Frank. Good morning. Wow, what a crowd. This is awesome to see. You know, we, uh, we come together to honor those fallen men and women that have uh, given their ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms and for the right for us to assemble and to live the way we do in freedom. And that not only includes the military, but also our police officers that give their lives daily on the streets of Los Angeles and our fire department folks as well. So let's bow our heads and let's uh, ask God to join us this morning as we honor those who have honored us with their lives. Father God, we come before you this morning and we thank you. We thank you for this beautiful country that we can live in. And, and Lord, as I come to this corner each and every day, I am reminded of the sacrifice that has been given throughout the years, throughout the ages. Since the earliest days of Los Angeles, Father God, we have had men and women fight for our freedom to live, our freedom to live as neighbors, friends, and loved ones. And Father, this morning we come to honor those that have paid the ultimate sacrifice, those that have given their lives, those that have laid their lives down, and Lord, we know that it begins with you. You laid your life down for each and every one of us so that we would have eternal life, that we would have life in abundance. So Lord, this morning as we come and we celebrate the freedoms that we have and we hear from the city officials and the, the representatives, Lord, help us to remember the great price that was paid for us to be here today. Father, we give you today, we give you every day, and we ask your presence to be with us. May you be pleased with what you see and hear from your sons and daughters today. And we thank you and we honor you as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, our uh, program will continue with the uh, presentation of the colors by both the American Legion, Alhambra Post number 139, and Wilson High School Police Academy Color Guard. Let's give them a great hand, folks. Oh, oh, yeah. 
Okay, stand up please. And um, I'd like this time to present Virginia Mejia and her sisters. We're gonna sing the national anthem. The ladies, please. Let's give a great hand, another great hand for the Virginia Mejia and family. Thank you, girls, for the national anthem. Okay, at this time, I want to uh, present a young student from the Lincoln High School. He's a junior from, uh, Link, uh, his name is Gabriel Carmona, and at this time, he is going to perform taps. So listen very carefully, folks. Are you? Thank you, Gabriel. At this time, uh, you can you can sit down. You can be seated, please. I'd like to introduce uh, my colleague for the uh, speaker part of the program. Let's give him a great hand. He also represents the El Sereno Veterans Monument Committee. His name is Eddie Satyan. Let's give Eddie a big hand. Good morning, El Cerrito. Uh, just, I don't know, is it me or is it this event is getting bigger and bigger every year? That is the reason why we, when I say we, there's uh, people that we have in the community that started up the El Cerrito Veterans Monument Committee along with Councilman Weezar's office to uh, have a location so we can honor our veterans at Memorial Weekend, 
Flag Day, and so on. And that's, uh, we're exploring different areas right now to have this monument put up. One of the uh, locations we're talking about right now is Van Horn and Huntington Drive. And there's other locations that we're looking at that we feel it'll be a little bit more safer so we're not stuck in the middle of the street here and in uh, any harm's way. So be patient with us. This is pretty much like an exploratory committee to find out where we're gonna put this monument at. And uh, there's several people in the, in the uh, audience here that are on the committee. Jorge, raise your hand, Jorge Garcia is one of them. Anybody else that's on the committee? Mr. Chavez. <clears throat> so we invite you to come to our meetings. Uh, we will be posting up the meeting locations and the times so you guys can come on and give us your input as far as the community of Alfredo. Reno. And with that, I'd like to um, thank the councilman's office, uh, Julio Torres and Julio Esperias from the councilman Weezer's office. Let's give them a round of applause for their help this morning. They've been very instrumental in, in keeping this event going and now helping us to relocate our event so we can all stay safe on this Memorial Weekend. And with that, I'd like to introduce our councilman of the great 14th district, the Honorable Jose Huizar. Thank you very much, Eddie, and um, thank you all for being here on this very special day, not only for El Sereno, but for the whole country and for Americans worldwide. And I want to thank the committee, uh, along with my office, who uh, each year plan this very special day. Uh, we know that we have a lot of pride here in El Sereno, a lot of respect for our veterans, for those who have served, and for those who have passed on. And so I want to thank you all for being here this morning. I want to give a special thanks to George Cabrera, who coordinates this great event uh, with very little resources and manpower. And he's the first one to stand up and start thinking about this event uh, each year. And I know that he does it because of the love and admiration for his late father, who was a veteran. So thank you very much, George. Let's give him a big round of applause. And I certainly want to thank the Los Angeles Fire Department and the LAPD for all of the service that they continuously give our community. Our safety personnel, much like our brave military veterans, run toward danger so that we can all be safe. And we thank them. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you so much. I also want to thank Robert Hernandez, Monica Reda, and the American Legion Alhambra Post 139 for their support and attendance. And it is my honor to welcome all the veterans and their families here today. Our veterans deserve to be recognized yesterday, today, and always. As I like to say, every day should be Veterans Day. Veterans from here in El Sereno and our surrounding east side communities have had a long history of military service, as we know. Many of you are here today. You served in World War II, the Korean War, Vietnam, and the wars in Iraq, and Afghanistan, and other battles throughout the world as you protected American interests. You have all done us proud and we thank you for your service. Of course, today is a solemn ceremony. It is not so much a celebration as it is a vigil, a time to reflect and a promise to remember those who have gone on because of their service. We gather to remember those brave men and women who never returned from the battlefield or who have passed on after the battlefield. Veterans whose lives were cut short so that ours could be long, fair, and prosperous. Men and women who often weren't able to see their own children grow up so that ours could. Men and women who protected our democratic rights that our veterans here today and those who paid the ultimate sacrifice took an oath to depend so that no one could tell our children, you can't study here, you can't live here, you can't vote here, you can't achieve what you want to achieve. It is our veterans who have answered the call again and again to protect those rights and really to give us all the gift and infinite power of prosperity through the defense of one word, and that word is yes. It is our veterans who defend our right to say, yes, I can express, express my thoughts freely. Yes, I can vote. Yes, I can live and worship wherever I want. Yes, I can pursue the American dream. The power and significance of this one word, yes, cannot be underestimated. 
especially when we know it is meaningless without men and women who are willing to defend it. This is why Memorial Day is such an important remembrance for all of us. Our veterans remind us of what we have in common as Americans. We must never, ever forget their sacrifices. I also want to thank our families of veterans for all the sacrifices that they had to make and continue to make during the conflicts that we are currently in. And at this time, if I could ask all family members who had a brother, father, loved one, whoever who has served in the military forces to please stand up and be recognized. Thank you so much for your support as well of our veterans. Thank you. Liberty is not free, and it is because of these men and women who have answered the call of duty for generations that we enjoy our freedom today. And I'd like to say, as someone who is an immigrant to this country and is certainly proud of my Mexican roots and culture, I am equally proud and fortunate to be a citizen of this great country, the best country in the world. And the freedoms that I enjoy as an American citizen, that we all enjoy, would not remotely be possible without the blood, sweat, and tears of our veterans. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I would, not, I would now like to ask for all of us to please observe a moment of silence to all the men and women who have died in service of our great country and all our servicemen and women currently serving abroad. Thank you. Veterans, may God bless you and again thank you for your commitment and sacrifice. You made our world a better place, you made our country a better place, and you made our communities a better place. What you have done to not only defend the ideals of this country, not only protect the ideals of America as we know it in the broader sense, but it reaches down to little neighborhoods like this, like El Sereno. It reaches down to that everyday life when we do our basic things that we don't even think about. It reaches down to that mother and father who are looking to get their children to school, to those people doing everyday things. What you may have done in Iraq, what you may have done in Vietnam, affects us each and every day in our daily living. So that, for that, we are extremely proud of you. We thank you. We thank those who have gone on. May God bless them. Some of the biggest heroes that have ever lived are those who died in service. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, Councilman. And once again, thank you for Hiring uh, Mr. Julio Torres has always been there for us, for the community of El Sereno. It's always been very sensitive to the issues here in the community. So let's give another round to Julio Torres and the councilman, please. At this time, I'd like to call up <clears throat> U.S. Army Vietnam veteran, commander of the American Legion, Alhambra Post 139, Robert Hernandez. Nice, it's really nice coming up after the day here. He said it all, Joe. I get to sit down now. Thank you very much for the great words. You're absolutely right. Every day, every day is actually Memorial Day. When you get up, do what you gotta do, go to church, do what you feel like doing. It's, it's all part, it's all tied in with Memorial Day. Like, you, know, you go to church, they say, it's not the Pope that gave me the permission to go to the church, you know. Like I tell Jose, it was that little 19 year old boy fighting the war. But you gotta remember, they're kids, they're 19, 20 years old. They, 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 they have their whole life ahead of them. Some come home, some don't. I watched the TV last night, and I seen this hard knocks. Dallas Cowboys, America's team. United States military, that's America's team. Not the, the Dallas Cowboys, I'm sorry. Then you, got, then you see like, people go to uh, Canton, Ohio, to the Hall of Fame, Baseball Hall of Fame. Uh, all Americans, so there's things in the back, this is all Americans on their helmets. They're seconds, they're poachers. United States veterans. There's America's teams. There's the one that should have a wall. There's the one people should travel across the country, take their children to go see a picture of Mickey Mantle or somebody. No, no, go see a picture of Robert Hernandez or Jose, blah, 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 blah. That's what we are, we're just normal people. You know, we, we, we didn't get famous making a lot of money or making shooting basketballs. They wouldn't be playing basketballs. If you stop to think about it, history itself, we are history. Paul Revere started the whole middle, you know? Running through there with his horse, history. Vietnam, when you see TV, what do you see? A guy getting shot in the head, pushing a helicopter off the a ship. History, 
before it was history, there was the United States veterans and the United States soldiers. And we got people that go to war, go to service, come back, and they still serve. I can almost bet you the fire department, police department, thank you gentlemen, I can almost swear somewhere along the line, they got military backgrounds. They continue to serve. That is the, that is the magnitude of level you know, the, the world, but it's even better because they're closer to home. I don't need somebody to come from me, somebody across country to take care of me. So thank you, firemen. Thank you, fire police department. You do great work. We couldn't do it without you. You're our veterans, and you're our, you're our first line responders. I better get off now. This guy's somewhere around here is getting, getting worried. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Is Monica Rueda here? Okay. Okay, next we're gonna have US Army Afghanistan veteran Scott Eisel. Can you come up? Thank you. Right on, airborne. Um, just like to thank everybody for coming out. So uh, I've been in the Army for seven and a half years. Just got out a couple months ago. Uh, Army Airborne, 173rd Airborne, 82nd, two deployments in Afghanistan, and it's really not a good place. Uh, it's third world, and people are fighting for something different out there, and it's, just remember the people that are out there, because there's people out there right now, they're fighting for their lives, and support from the people is huge. And I've had nothing but great support from the Americans and everybody since I've come back, and it's a lot of lessons learned from Vietnam, and I really like seeing how people are with uh, the troops. And um, I'd personally like to thank Vietnam veterans myself because they didn't get what we're getting right now and they deserve it, I think, so much more. Vietnam veterans have fought really hard and uh, I've always been proud of them. And I'd like to thank Vietnam veterans, but just um, just remember what this, uh, all this is for and it's uh, really memorial for people who couldn't come back and enjoy what I'm able to do and what we're able to do. And it doesn't seem fair at times, but that's just, that's how it works out, you know. And uh, just remember there are people that, that have died out there doing what we Americans do, and that's what we fight for what we believe. And um, yeah, that's it. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Scott. And thank you, Greg. Last year, I believe we were talking about, about him last year, so I'm glad that you made it back and you're here with us. Thank you. Next, we have a U.S. Navy veteran, Vietnam, VFW post number 49, no, 4696, Tony Zapata. Good morning. My name's Tony, Tony Zapata. I'm the commander of post 4696 in East L.A. I want to welcome you here this morning. I just want to talk a little bit just about this weekend coming up, Memorial Day weekend. What I try to stress, I work a lot with uh, elementary schools, I try to stress patriotism, especially Memorial Day weekend, what it's all about. It's just not another day for a barbecue, for a picnic. It's a day to remember the fallen. And what I do, I try to tell these kids that throughout the day, whatever they're doing, they're doing swimming, they're going hiking, uh, <clears throat> take a moment, take a moment to remember what these young men and women have done for this country, paid the ultimate sacrifice. Remember their families, the mom, the dad, <clears throat> they got that horrible call from the military about their son, their daughter. Remember though, don't ever forget that. It's just important to celebrate this, their memory and reflect on their sacrifice. We should also take time on Memorial Day to reflect and pay respect to their families, like I said. While honoring the fallen and the founders of those no longer with us, Memorial Day also offers, offers us an opportunity to thank those who currently serve and continue the legacy of service for their country. Memorial Day is not a day of sadness. It is ultimately a celebration, a celebration of life and legacy of many men and women who proudly served and sacrificed for all of us. Today, as I stand here, 
Alex said that freedom is not free. These young, brave men and women that gave life to this country made it possible for us to be here today to enjoy our freedom. <clears throat> before you enjoy that Memorial Day barbecue or before you go to lay down to rest tonight, take a little time to give thanks to Almighty God for everything you have. Say a prayer for those who lost their lives while protecting your freedom. I always stress, especially around Memorial Day, Veterans Day, when you see a veteran or a military person in uniform, go up, shake their hand, thank them for their service. They'll be proud to shake your hand. Look them in the eyes, thank them, thank them for what they've done. And pay respect to the families of the fallen. Many times I've been places where, I mentioned Vietnam, especially in my neighborhood, it's an immigrant neighborhood, and a lot of people don't know what Vietnam was. I try to explain to them that it was a, a time in history, a very unpopular time for some of us, like the airborne person that was here. We didn't get recognized. We were not looking for parades. We were not looking to be, you know, we just wanted to come home. And lately, we've been recognized. City Council has been recognizing us, uh, Councilman Weaver. So I thank them for finally coming around to see what, what we did. With that, I leave you. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you, Tony. Uh, I'd like to just give a quick shout out to Channel 35 for coming out. This is the Alley City Channel. Thank you for coming out, covering up this morning's event. Thank you. If you have time more, I believe you can watch it on Channel 35 still? 35. Next, we have Annette Ajola Vasquez, memorial tribute for David A. Lopez. Can I have both of you come up, please? Good morning, veterans, councilmen, community, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Annette Hohola.